Well, hey team, Grant Hagen here back with the Reality Capture Recap. It's been a while. Uh, I was out on vacation the last couple weeks, and I just wanted to come back and welcome you back in. If this is your first time tuning in, uh, welcome if uh, I haven't met you yet. My name is Grant. Uh, we do this once a week, which is our recap of all things uh, in the world of reality capture. We cover these five topics over here to my side. Uh, welcome back in. Uh, and man, it's just great to be back. You can see I'm wearing some master's gear. You know, it is master's week, uh, whether you're a golfer or not, that's going to play into some of the fun stuff that we got going on here. But uh, yeah, it's good to see you guys again. Excited to be back here. We got some really fun things we're going to cover and talk to today. Uh, and starting off with, you know how these go. This is uh, the best thing I saw. We're going to kick it off here. Uh, right here on the start. So uh, I came across this video. I thought this was amazing. Uh, one, it was just cool. One, because it blended some fun golf things that I felt like was a great theme this week. Uh, but also it really kind of is in the world of reality capture, uh, kind of a little bit with some augmented reality. But uh, I just thought this was amazing. Uh, these guys were using an application here to improve some uh, putting, which if I'm being honest about my golf game, it is terrible. Uh, and this was just amazing. Uh, they were using some really neat kind of uh, examples here of what this could look like of obviously identifying where the hole is at and then uh, if you go a little bit farther along in this video uh, it kind of walks through okay like where what's the line what's the sight line of where you need to go here I'll, I'll put a link to this you can go watch the whole thing it was amazing one but I just thought man this is so cool because uh, what's really neat about it is I think it's blending this world of like okay the reality uh, world of things that are going on but also with kind of some fun applications uh, I always love this one just because I think it's uh, a blend of really fun and interesting, but also very practical. I'm a terrible putter uh, and can imagine I'd look a little goofy out on uh, the course, especially at Masters, uh, wearing this. But uh, it would be really cool. I just thought it was a fascinating uh, use case here. I don't know if he, yeah, he did sink this putt. Uh, but I just thought it was awesome. You go back and watch this. Uh, I love his even title here. It's basically cheating, <laughs> which is just so cool. Uh, but I thought that was really interesting. Uh, and I really truly was the best thing I saw this week. Uh, so go ch check out that link uh, here uh, in the description above. But uh, the other thing that we want to just get to here is uh, give them a follow. Always one of my favorite sections in here. Uh, one, because uh, really the inspiration of a lot of these different videos and news articles I find are from this section of give them a follow. So uh, I take very little credit for all these, uh, purely just aggregating some of my favorites here. Uh, but this one was pretty easy. Uh, Michael who here, who, man, I just appreciate all the posts that you have. I actually haven't got to meet him in person yet. And so if you're watching this for the first time, uh, I appreciate all the posts that you have here. One, uh, because they're really uh, in this kind of world of 3D, uh, which I'm just trying to think of summarizing all the content you put together out there. But uh, there's just some amazing posts. I just really appreciated some of the stuff uh, that you've put out there. Uh, and one just would encourage you, go give him a follow. It was just really cool. There's tons and tons of stuff in here. And I think this has been one of my favorite ways to kind of educate around this space in reality capture. Uh, there's all sorts of different things that is very limiting to uh, some of the stuff that he's posting here. But uh, what I really appreciated about it is uh, the kind of the segments of the videos and the content that he puts out. Uh, yeah, I just really appreciate it. Again, I haven't met you in person yet, but a uh, fan over here of the content you're putting out uh, and just appreciate. I know this is uh, not easy work to uh, just compile all these and put them out there, but uh, very engaged with on post, which I always just appreciate uh, and seeing the comments and the threads and stuff like that too. So uh, Michael, really appreciate uh, the content that you're putting out going because uh, I think it's great and just keep it up. Uh, and I hope more people will follow you and give uh, you some shout outs as well uh, in that. So let's move down into who's crushing it. Uh, another great section in here. Uh, this one was pretty easy this week. Man, busy week uh, this week with announcements and teaser posts. And one of those uh, was the DJI Avada 2. Uh, I am a huge fan of this product. Uh, I was waiting to get into this space of FPV flight uh, and really, you may be wondering, okay, well, how does this deal with reality capture? We talked about it in a couple uh, sessions ago on uh, just how a lot of folks are using this for indoor capture, uh, which is super exciting because I think it brings the space of FPV, which is traditionally pretty challenging to do if you're going out and building kind of some of these different uh, tools and equipment. Uh, but this is really an all-in-one package. I meant to steal this here, total package uh, from what DJI is saying. But I personally had the Yavada Ones, which were amazing. And what I'm excited about is anytime DJI is coming out with a second generation or improving on their product, they clearly are crushing it here. And so I am super excited. Many of you guys have reached out and kind of asked like, hey, have you tried it and tested it yet? I haven't personally. Uh, and I uh, heard from a buddy this week uh, who did get it. And I just appreciate, uh, hey, this is awesome. Just kind of some of your guys' feedback about this. Uh, I also found a quick little video of like, okay, what are some of the improvements? Uh, we've talked about Billy Kyle on here a couple of times. He uh, gets access to some of these different pieces of hardware uh, pretty early. 
Uh, but what I really appreciate about Billy's video here, if we kind of get to a little bit farther along, is he was talking about really uh, just how much better it is in low light and kind of changing light conditions. And that's really what made me think about how this is going to be really helpful in the reality capture space is transitioning from outdoors to indoors, especially if you're doing inspections like this, is really, really tough. Uh, and you can see it handles that lighting condition really well, which again, I haven't tested these. I haven't had a chance to go out and kind of personally see them myself, but uh, was just like, this is awesome. I think this is going to be really exciting, uh, especially with some of the improvements in uh, this space of just kind of the FPV view and something that can fly uh, indoors here. So uh, really exciting stuff. DJI continue to crush it. Uh, I love uh, seeing all this content and the new hardware that you guys are coming out with. And so much appreciate that. Let's get into On the Horizon. Uh, this has kind of always turned into a little bit of a uh, kind of uh, a teaser, I guess, section. I don't really intend it to be, but these are just kind of rumor mills or uh, events that are coming up. But uh, what I wanted to show here was the exciting uh, kind of teaser announcement from our friends over at Insta360. And this is, it looks like a new camera that's coming out. And I think we had mentioned this a previous, a couple weeks ago about the X4, which it seems like a lot of the rumors that are coming out to be, uh, but always love a good teaser post one, because I think there's some cool content that's in here, but two, uh, it kind of alludes to some of the new things that are going to be in this. And so the kind of talk of the title here is 8K, uh, which I think is really exciting because anytime resolution is improving is always a huge win. But what I'm really curious to know is really about kind of some of the uh, different improvements in the uh, time, uh, I guess, what do we call it, like a time-lapse sense. Uh, those are also what we use uh, to really do some of our uh, walks with construction and really ground-based capture. And so AK is great. Uh, I think I'd love to even see that more. More resolution is awesome on that front. But uh, on the horizon, I'm uh, just excited. I think this is next week on Tuesday, the, the 16th, if I'm doing my calendar math right. Uh, but yeah, just really excited about this. I think this is going to be a really exciting thing uh, in the ground capture space, especially for uh, reality capture. And anytime we're doing more frames, more pixels, which all this is talking about, uh, I think it's just going to be a really exciting thing to talk about. So uh, on the horizon, check it out. I think uh, Tuesday, it looks like that's when uh, some more stuff is going to be announced on that front. So excited to dive into that there. Uh, let's get into the last part here on the hot take. Uh, this hot take is brought to you by, it feels weird to say that, uh, but this uh, hot take is brought to you by visiting a lot of uh, construction project sites in the last few weeks uh, on this idea around uh, consumers versus producers. And uh, I'm just going to jump, jump right into it here. The, the hot take that I'm really having is I think reality capture has traditionally felt like it is really uh, improving and innovating in the producer segment. And what I mean by producer segment is uh, tools, features, uh, improvements, all those things. And I think what I'm hearing and at least seeing out in the field, which has been really challenging, is the consumer uh, improvements uh, may not have been uh, or may not have continued to be uh, as improved over time. And what I think is interesting about this as a hot take is I really think as we all kind of in this community of reality capture and doing things in this space, are thinking about uh, teaching and training and education of really how is this going to best uh, kind of improve the livelihood and, and kind of value out on site uh, with these individuals. I think bucketing and putting folks uh, into these two different camps can actually be helpful. And what I mean by that is I just don't think there's been enough love on the consumer of uh, reality capture data uh, then I think on the producer side, producers being uh, folks that are using the hardware, going out, um, you know, aggregating the data or processing the data. That's what I'm kind of labeling as a producer. On the consumer side, I'm talking about people that are purely just consuming the data, uh, the visualization, the on the mobile device, uh, uh, organizing in a way that is helpful for them. I think what it's just fascinating to hear is I would love to see some more love for the consumers of reality capture data. And the reason the hot takes uh, is in this section here below uh, is really to hear your comments. I'm very curious if you feel like there are tools out there that are really doing a very good job in this uh, consumer idea and mindset of the data. And so uh, my timer is almost up here and I only have two minutes for this segment, but I just thought it was really interesting. I uh, would love to hear your thoughts on tools that you're seeing out there that are really, really uh, crushing, uh, crushing it in the consumer mindset, uh, which I just think is really fascinating to think about uh, as we think about growing reality capture in the space. So my two minute clock is up. Uh, all my graphics are flying off the screen here. But uh, yeah, I just thought this was really interesting. Uh, and I hope that uh, some of these segments are really interesting to you and that you find uh, some of these topics insightful. Uh, I 
appreciate all the notes and uh, messages that you guys are sending in to really fill some of these sections. It's always fun to see your thoughts and comments uh, below, but uh, appreciate you tuning in. Look forward to putting this out here uh, weeks to come. Welcome back. Good to see you again. I hope you enjoy your master's weekend if you're a golfer and we will talk to you soon. Take care.